Hi, I'm not yet dead in name and in nature, and welcome back to Welco Farms. It's 5.21 in the morning, and the first day of summer. It looks it too. Nice. The, the uh, if you look in the top right, you'll see we're warming up, so the soil temperature's gone up, which should mean, yeah, sunflowers is a no-brainer. We're just, just right for soybeans and corn. But I think we should definitely get some sunflowers in. And uh, actually we had a little building work to be done, given the state of our machinery and tractors. Now the question would be, where to put it? Um, Hmm. Actually, I wonder. So let's do that first. I was going to do it last episode, but I didn't have it installed. And I haven't tried this yet, so... I don't know if you're familiar with this. The um, black sheet modding washing station. So originally it came out it was just for standard sort of size vehicles. Um, but they've brought out a larger one, which hopefully will be big enough for our big buds. Yeah, I was thinking they're behind that shed naturally, but then if we build it, will that hedge go? Will it stay there? Because that'd be really annoying. I could put it here, I suppose. I hope the family don't mind. I suppose I'm putting it right opposite one of the houses. Maybe over here somewhere. Oh no, it's not gonna let me do that. Maybe here? Oh yeah. Actually that could work right in front of the right in front of the uh the store buildings, the garages and the workshop. Make sure it's nicely lined up. I think that would look okay. Looks alright. Done. Let's take a look. Yeah, that looks pretty big. I think we'll be okay. Let's just test it. Not so I'm going to wash them today because there's another another big full day of uh, of work to be done. But you've got to try it out with the biggest thing you own. Fingers crossed. Otherwise, I'll have to get a standard jet wash as well. But I do love these. They're brilliant. I had one on um, Spectacle Island. But that was a sort of standard size one. Hopefully this will just be... Yeah, look at that. Yep, definitely glad I didn't go for triple wheels. Oh, that's just amazing. How cool is that? Oh, you know, we've got to try it while we're here. It's fair to say if this fits, pretty much anything will. Looking good. Brilliant. Good purchase. I like it. Perfect. Right, so we've got some work to do, so let's see. Field 2, field 21 and field 13. So fields 21 and 13. So yeah, by accident we've got canola in two. So the soybeans should also be able to go in. We'll start with the sunflowers though, and I'm trying to figure out whether um, 
I should have time to do all three in a day, so it shouldn't be a problem. But I do need, hello farm cat. Um, but I do need to um go and lease something. So I'd say we get the case and we head down to the store. Only because the case is quicker than the big buds. And it's, it's powerful enough to, to pull stuff. I suppose actually the question is then which field we're going to do first. Though actually, I oh wonder I've had another idea as well. No, it's okay. Um, we can do sunflowers. Sunflower price is pretty good. Alright, it's currently on a. But it's bigger, it's better than corn. So it would make sense to put the sunflowers in the bigger of those two fields. Which we filled 13. So that's fine actually. So yeah, so let's just head out. Yeah, a lovely summer morning. Can't be early summer. Quite funny at top speed it doesn't look like the front wheels going around it's really quite funny it's like they're static it's just the right speed it's like our crops are growing actually they're not not yet oh yeah they are and you know what that means more spraying which actually means that probably all of the fields will need a spray today we need to think about that number of days, number of sprays that we've got to do. In the, the fields that we sowed yesterday, I need one more spray, so they're not urgent. Um, that can wait till tomorrow. Uh, the fields that we sow today, or the two fields that haven't been sown with the hats and beetle, um, will need two more sprays. So maybe at the end of today. Yeah, I'm not sure we can really justify the big brute. Maybe we don't need to worry about justifying the big brute. We should just buy it. Just because. Right, here we are. Whew, that was lucky. I thought I was going to hit that post. Store. Sewing machines. And here we go, the Great Plains. I have used the Great Plains before and I do quite like it. So we might have to just use Seed Hawk at some point on this map because it's probably going to be a while before I use a, 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 another map big enough to warrant it. Yes, we do. Actually, while we're here, actually, no, it doesn't matter. It's fine. I was going to um, get some pallets and fill it, but we may need to fill the uh, the seed and fertilizer tender anyway from the hats and beagle because we'll we'll attach that to it because it doesn't have a very big. Oh, I'm not sure I'm going to get in there with this tractor. I'm going to do something rather unorthodox. The only problem with this map is the way that the vehicle spawn at the store. It's a bit of a nuisance. Just sort of swinging it round. There we go. Sorry, that was a very naughty thing to do. But I drove all the way down here to pick it up. I don't want to reset it and have them deliver it. Here we go. This is a beast, this thing, it's just huge. It's probably about on the limits of what the tractor will do actually, which is fine, we're not doing anything with it. 
might need to take it up with the seed cart to fill it all up. Might need the big bud. But it's a great looking piece of equipment, it really is. Never heard before, I love the way it's articulated that mid sort of midpoint. That's very cool. cost us 12 grand to lease this, I wonder if... Ah, do we do so much? I haven't done any soybean yet, we need to do some soybean. I'm just wondering if I do the bottom half of the field to in sunflowers so we're really getting the most out of it. Perhaps I do two lots of sunflowers and no corn. Corn doesn't pay very much. I did say that I want to do another field of wheat as well though. Because I, I, I sowed two fields of canola and I hadn't intended to, it's a little bit annoying. Not that we have to, we don't need the straw. Wheat doesn't have a particularly good price, but Wellcut are a wheat farm primarily, so it seems a shame not to. Glad this is a big yard. Now that's interesting. I was fairly certain that we could hook this up. Maybe it doesn't work with this one. Oh no. Oh it does. There we go. You don't get the cables, but it does work. That probably is worth going to completely fill it. Given that we're going to start with what is actually the nearest field to the refill point, I think that would make sense. Bit of a squeeze. These um, collisions on these edges through here are a bit irritating. Yeah, very. Let's see if I can do this. Here we go. Oh yeah, top end of field too in growth, that's good. I like that. Well, you don't need to see me driving all the way to the refill point again. I'll see you up there. So here we are. Mm -hmm. Now then, pop-up's a bit weird on these. Okay, should be in about the right place. It says here. Uh, oh, hang on. Wrong implement. That's why. Fill that one first. <laughs> That's quite some train. Goodness. Be interesting to use this. I usually use it on its own. I've never tried it with the sort of seed tender as well. Blimey. So, what do we say this was? 96. So that's nearly full. I figure we might as well start with it full. And then actually move across. Those should open anyway as we uh, get to the right place. Yep, there it goes. And we'll fill that one up. That was 9.6, wasn't it? So... I can't remember how big this tank is. I think it's 5,000 litres, I think.
But yeah, it's quite a cool setup. I suppose what I'm going to make sure I do actually is use up what's in the Great Plains Cedar first. Because obviously I'm, I'm going to, I've leased it, so I'm going to return it. I don't want anything left in it. I don't know how it works, which it will use first, or so whether I just use the Great Plains on its own to start with. Maybe that's the thing to do. Um, nearly fair, nearly full, but look a bit. Yep, there we go. This is a slightly odd amount, but alright. Um, we need to close the cover. That, that one? Oh, good guess. And then... Fertiliser. So yeah, I might start with just using the Great Plains on its own, and then when it runs out, attach the tender back up. I just... I don't want to be left with it just using... Sorry, wrong around again. There you go. Yeah, I don't I don't really want it to start with using, you know, obviously what's in the This looks like the Great Plains doesn't hold fertilizer. Is that right? It's been a while since I've used it. It is. Okay, then we're done. I'll see you at the field. Right, so here we are just on the corner of field 13. I'm going to drop that there. I'm going to pull this up here. Leave that there. Let's swing back. This might seem a slightly odd way to do it, but the last thing I want to do is use... I suppose I, could, I, I didn't have bothered filling the cedar. I could just have... Oh, but I don't want... To Oh, that's in... Oh, no, so I wouldn't have used the fertiliser. Okay. I'm going to say I don't need that because I want to use the fertiliser, but I don't want to use the fertiliser because it wouldn't, even though the tender holds fertiliser, the seed doesn't have the capability to put it to the ground, so it wouldn't have worked. Mind you, in theory, I ought to have a big bud. What power does it need? It'd be nice to use this tractor for a bit of field work for a change. Oh, easy. 280. No worries. Fold it out, watch the magic begin. I can't remember if I showed this or not to excuse the slight change in texture. The um, when it was saying that the, the field next door, field twelve, field twelve, right? Yeah. Uh the Hats and Bigler accidentally also sowed part of this field with the same crop is not what we wanted and while we're on that subject sunflowers here we go so I had to recultivate it there we go sowing again great look at that I like it Very satisfying. It's got a good old width. The size of this thing. Actually, yeah, this tractor's perfect for it. It's really good. It's been a bit big buddy. Big bud heavy. But I will use the uh, the 747 to do what the rest of what I need to do. The hat speaker. May as well. No idea if there'll be enough seed in here to do this whole field, but if not, I'll just go connect the tender when it's empty. I'm, I, in some ways, I may as well not bothered, but it's still, you know, another five and a bit thousand litres of seed, so it's, you know, we were up there anyway, it made sense to use the capacity. It's 5,800 litres of seed more that we can sow before, uh, you know, we have to refill, so that's always good. Anyway, we'll carry on with this, worker and I, and uh, see you back in a bit.
So actually having seen the, uh, the seed usage for the Great Plains, which is actually going pretty slow, we've got plenty of seed in, in there in the cedar itself to do this field and probably start another one. So I thought what I'd do, a bit of multitasking, is leave the worker running on that. I've then got the Big Bud 747. And we'll grab the, uh, the seed tender for the Hats and Beagler. And we'll go back to cut the Hats and Beagler. And I thought we'd start um, start this one sowing on, uh, on the bottom half of field number two. And I know I said I was gonna try and do all the crops, but as if you might recall, I've already messed that up by, um, by I've got canola in fields 12 and the top half of field 2. So we've now got sunflower going into field 13. Uh, we've already got wheat in field is it 21, the, the awkward one, um, and fields 20 and field 20 is left to do, which hmm, I want to do the Great Plains because I want to get some good use out of it, but at the same time do corn, I suppose we should. Yeah, we'll do corn, it's fine. The, I was thinking I'd quite like to do sunflower because obviously the price of sunflower is much better. Um, we'll get more up, more return, but we're not really doing this for the money. And you never know, maybe we'll get a great demand, so um, we might get a good price for it. So yeah, we'll, we'll do corn. It'll be fun to do a corn harvest on here. Um, so, uh, so yeah, so we'll put corn in till 20. And we'll put wheat in the bottom half field too. So we've got two big, I did say I wouldn't do lots of wheat. Um, I was going to do one wheat, one barley, but we'll just do wheat. The price of wheat is slightly better anyway. And uh, welcome is a wheat farm. That's the most of what they do, I believe, is wheat. It's going to be a bit tricky because it's a double joint of the big bud as well. There we go, not too bad. No, missed it. There we go. Oof, needing power now to pull all this. And negotiate the yard, which will be tricky. I'm trying to avoid that bit of hedge and tree, because uh, the um, conditions are a bit odd this way Actually, we shouldn't even be able to get the, just about get the hats and beetle into the into the jet wash as well which would be quite cool because that's a big old piece of kit too yeah we'll give more a wash after today well on the assumption we'll get the seeding done today which we should do So here we go, right wheat we are on, got the right seed type, always a good start. And away we go. Bring it over a little bit. we are seeding on field two. I can't wait to do the harvest on here. Might just have to get another combine. The workers have two combines, why not? And actually, you know what, to, to harvest all this lot in the sort of time window we're gonna have to do it, I think we're probably gonna need it too. Great stuff. Well, I'll keep an eye on the workers. And we'll get done. Might have a slightly shorter day today. Bit of a rest. Right, so I'm um, just finishing off field 13. Um, yeah, worker managed to leave a strip, but otherwise did okay. And as you can see, we've got plenty of seed left, so 
that wasn't too bad. Oh, I'm too far over. Look, I'm moving across, not straight. See, now you can understand why I get weed uh, so weeders. Why I get uh, workers to do my sewing, even if they do miss a bit. Anyway, uh, yeah, so, yep, just need to finish off field 13. The bud's still, uh, the big bud's still going well on the bottom half of field two. And uh, yeah, well, sewing is nearly complete. So we've just got field, or oh, is it 20 or 21? I still can't remember, 21 to do. And uh, yeah, that'll be done. And I think, ah, we might as well just do it. Hey, I think we might need to get the big root. I think logistically we probably could just about do all the spraying that he's doing. So basically, I figured it out. Um, pop in the store a sec. So the field that we've got, um, you know, we've got two fields that will need two more sprays, and we've got three fields, four fields, I suppose, if you like, split two and a half, um, that will need one more spray. And thinking about it, we're in early summer. We're unlikely to start harvesting before early autumn. So actually we've got three days to do another one, two, three, four, six, uh, and four, eight, eight sprays, which is plenty of time, plenty of time. But you know what? Maybe it's time we got the big brute. Anyway. In the meantime, we will finish this off. Oh, I've still managed to leave a little strip, not too big. Um, <coughs> and uh, yeah, we'll go see how the big bud's doing. In fact, I can start field 20, can't I? Because I've got seed left. It probably won't be enough to do the whole field. Oh, that's why I look. Those bush collisions again. Wow. Can I get past it now? No. I mean, that is a bit silly. I'd say. I mean, I do love this map. The map is probably I've done a great job, but I have to say, sorry guys, these um, these bush plant collisions really should have been checked and sorted out because that's still dragging on that. Okay, well, we've left a small gap, but it's not too crazy. Yeah, it's a bit rubbish, but never mind. It's done. Cool. This is a great animation. I love this thing. It's bizarre. It's the weirdest thing ever. What I have found out actually is the tractor doesn't corner very well when it's all folded up. But if he puts a limit on the tightness of the angle, you can get, given how close it is to the back of the cedar. But still, one field done. So I mean, we could even spray this field today. You know, it's technically had a. Do I want to do that now? Not boy. Um technically had a state change so it ought to be right to be sprayed today and it was sprayed it was a day ago it was sprayed so it should be fine um, I mean all the other fields we could spray but yeah, there's no rush there's no rush um, could even get a weeder I suppose onto the weeders that would just take ages it's not worth it um, and it's, I don't think it's what they do so we they just spray like it or not, that's how they do it. And I mean, I'm, you know, I'm messing about with this a little bit, but and from a machinery perspective, it's nice to be close to what they use. It's quite fun. The other thing we could also think about doing, of course, is when we get some good prices, and I should check on the prices, it's probably the wrong time of year. Um, we could do that in a second, actually, when I get down the field. We could look at the, um, the seasons menu and see about what our crop prices are like for the crops that we've already got in, especially those that we're not going to sow any more of. Um, because to be honest, you know, making loads of trips back and forth with crops that we're going to replenish might seem a little bit pointless. Um, I don't really want to drive over those, do I? Because we've got crop destruction. On. Ooh, this will be tricky. Um, in fact, what I'll do then is I'll start off down the edge. Or does crop destruction not affect the first growth state? I can't remember. I'm not going to risk it. 
uh, yeah so let's just stop there a second I'll jump out so I can look at this so harvesting so we've got wheat canola now we've got sunflowers yeah I don't think any of our crops are going to be ready before early autumn maybe even mid because uh, we I suppose we did plant the wheat as early as we could pretty much so could be ready as soon as the first day of autumn but you know they only need one more spray so we've got plenty of time to do that and that's the thing anything we sow today isn't going to be ready till the uh, second or maybe even third day or we've got loads of time to spray I'm not saying I won't get the big brute but I'm just saying we've got plenty of time anyway um maybe we'll just buy another field yeah. um so what I was going to do is look at some prices yeah so it's not a great time to be selling stuff there are sunflowers. Oh, soybeans. Interesting. Today is the best day to sell soybeans, and corn's not far off. So actually, the soybean price is pretty good. It's green. It's not brilliant, but the corn price is just normal. It's quite low. I might sell the soybean, that will be up planted some, oh we haven't because I put an extra cup, I put an extra field of wheat in, so yeah might as well sell that soybean, oh that was a bit daft, so the most profitable crop I haven't sown, oh well never mind, oh well, it's funny actually that was the one thing I was going to do was sow soybean and somehow I've still managed to forget that, obsessed as I was with getting more getting more wheat in the ground but I am going to grow corn we have to put corn in this field we've got to uh, got to get some use out of this cedar let's do it we're not in it for the money not on this map that's not what this is about just going to straighten up a little bit that said it would help if I Brought that over just a little bit. Let's wind around. There we go. Switch it to corn. There we go. And let's see if I can improve my abilities to drive in straight lines. Mm, seemingly not. Actually, that's not too bad, and to be fair, actually, it doesn't matter that much for this one anyway. So doing the end is going to be a bit tricky, because either way, we don't have enough. Might have to reverse it in. I'm trying to avoid driving over that crop. So, so in the last field. And we'll be done for the year. How's the big bug doing? Can't see it's too far away. I, got this. I do like this seed. I have used it before. I used it on Goldcrest Valley, um, but um, but it is good actually. For the for the bigger seed, he says, completely missing the edge. Totally not driving in a straight line. But yeah, for the bigger seeders, it's um it's quite manageable, I suppose, because the problem with the hats and beetle and and I suppose the seed hawk, which I haven't used, and actually I think we should, while I'm on this map. So if we um if we do a second year. I'll, uh, yeah, I should get the Seed Hawk really, just because, you know, as it stands currently, there are no other maps that I'm planning on doing that are big enough to warrant it, so, um, yeah, it would make sense to use the Seed Hawk, I think. Um, but yeah, those, of those, because it's, you know, it's got a good big width, um, it sows all the crops, which is pretty useful, so I mean, if you're going to buy a big seeder, logically it, it is the most sensible one to use but of course it does you know it's, it's much more maneuverable it's much easier to get it right um, you know with the others having their air, air carts they do get a bit tricky to reverse and maneuver and everything else get straight and keep in a line and everything else but of course it does have its downsides you know it's it doesn't fertilize at the same time so if that's an issue for you um, then that's no good um, and it doesn't have a particularly big seed tank, though I've been impressed with its seed usage. 
I'm amazed it managed to do the whole of 13 um, on its own tanks. I mean, it's not it's not small, not by any stretch. It does a really good job, um, but yes, it's the lacking fertilizer could be an issue, depending on what you want to do. But yeah, I, I think otherwise it's a good cedar. I like it. Yeah, so what we'll do is we'll finish off what we can with this, um, you know, with the, with the, with its own capacity, with what it's got left in. This 2,000 or so odd litres, which actually, this is a smaller field than field 13. It might be enough. And if not, then uh, we'll wait when the big bud's finished. We'll get the... Uh, Get the additional tank cart, whatever you want to call it, and um, drift over a little bit, and uh, and we'll we'll put that on to finish it off. Then this can go back. Seeding is done, and in good time. Yeah, so we could, yeah, maybe we should buy another field. So you know, we need to think about. What should we do for the next basically three days? You know, we've got summer, essentially. You know, we don't need. To, there's no grass. We don't need to make hay while the sunshine. You know, the old adage, which is very true on farming simulator when you're running seasons. It is the time of year that you cut your grass and make your hay and all that sort of stuff, which is quite. It's quite fun actually. I do like that. Seasons has brought so much to the game. Um, it's funny when I when I finished on Goldcrest, I went on Spectacle and I was like, oh, I'm free of seasons. You know, crops are a bit quicker, whole thing moves on. Right, Helper Q is finished. Has he really? Actually, yeah. That's not bad, is it? I seem to have missed a chunk of field 21, I'm not sure why. Um, yeah, that's not bad at all, is it? So a little bit tidy up to do, but not much. Okay. Um, yeah, so when I started on Spectacle, I was like, oh, you know, this would be nice, just a little bit more relaxed you know, regular field cropping, etc, etc, but actually it's nice to have seasons back on, it just brings a, a realistic rhythm to the whole thing. So I tried to do this and talk at the same time, that's my excuse anyway. Um, but yeah, so, I, you know, but it's, it is nice to be back on, say, you know, with, and, and lacking the pressure of animals, the, the one thing of seasons is making sure that you've planned for your animals and you've got enough straw and grass and hay and silage and whatever else you need to make sure you can get them through the winter. Uh, I did struggle with that when I I did loads of stuff on Goldcrest. I'd already got all of the animals before seasons came out. I made, uh, you know, I made sure I'd got, you know, grass and I'd cleared all my fields and everything else and actually I ran out of food for the pigs um, before the end of the year or something oh no that's right I was planning on getting rid of them and I hadn't kept quite enough feed for over the winter um, I was keeping them until um, price was at its highest which I think was early in the year or something yeah and I lost some it's a bit annoying but never mind <laughs> these things happen but again and the fact that you can lose animals if you don't look after them probably just adds to it all it's very it's very good it's very good but yeah, so if you haven't started watching yet, um, there it is, it does seem to be becoming quite popular, luckily. Um, I've started South Mountain Creamery and that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm doing a map with seasons and focusing on animals and, and particularly to start with, because it's a creamery, uh, cows. So yeah, quite looking forward to doing that as well, but it's nice here not to have that pressure. Just, you know, two completely different farms, even though they're both American farms, it's not too big a deal. A bit of overlap there, but this wasn't very straight. You'll notice that when I'm doing. In fact, what we could do, I suppose, actually, there's stuff to do now. <coughs> could get a work on this field and leave them to do that while I go and finish off and tidy up field two. Let's do that. So here we are, the big bud wasn't, actually wasn't very far away as you can see, there's the worker finishing off the corn, and our first little patch that needs doing is just here.
Yes, yeah, so as I was saying before, I started uh, inanely to bring away. Um, we, uh, yeah, we need to come up. We're going to do for the next three days. So, as I said, we're going to have oh, whatever I said already. Eight is eight. Um, eight fields, eight, eight lots of spraying. So eight times we've got to spray a field. We've got that to do, um, and. Uh, we need to intersperse that, so we might buy another field. I have never done, I'm ashamed to say, I have never done uh, poplars. So maybe we should think about doing poplars. Perhaps I'll buy a field. I've still got a lot of money left actually, but I need to bear in mind that I've got to get another harvester. May want to buy the big brute. I, don't know. I, don't, I haven't decided how long I'm going to do this map for. Um, and that kind of depends on what other things come out. Um, South Mountain Cream is going to keep me going for a while. And I don't want three Let's Plays on particularly. I was definitely, wa I definitely want to do a year just to have that experience of doing big things. But I'm kind of thinking actually, you know what? Next year we could get Seed Hawk. You know, maybe get another combine, get some more fields, get you know another big bud. You know, actually that sort of stuff. So could do two years, I think. In which case. The big brute is less urgent. Um, you know, you could do that next year, sort of thing. Um, but uh, but yeah, so I don't want to burn through the money. But another field might not be a bad idea. Could do some contracting. Might be some jobs going on up for uh, other farmers. They might need some help with things. A bit spraying him there. Perhaps some harvesting if they've got some earlier stuff cropping than we do. Um, don't particularly want to go crazy. The thought of uh, you know, I mean, some of these fields, look at the size of field one, it's just huge. We should buy it, but shouldn't we? That'd be fun. Um, I'm not sure we've got enough money. Um, but yeah, um, but yeah, some of the, some of the, uh, missions, the, you know, contracts, uh, just take ridiculous quantities of time, absolutely mad quantities of time. Um, but, but some of the smaller fields, yeah, there might be some little jobs we can do. And we can do some forestry. So, I mean, we have got a, um, slightly stupidly, I bought it when we, before we started. And, uh, and it's been sat there all this time. I've basically been paying for it to be sat there. But yeah, so we've got a, a tree harvester and uh, a truck with some, um, with some log trailers on the back and stuff. So yeah, a bit of forestry might be a bad idea. That'll keep us going. We'll need to store the, the wood somewhere because it's not a good time of year to sell it, but, um, you know, we could do that. We could pile it all up and then leave it to sell over the winter. Uh, that is it, I think. Are we done? Yeah. Looking good. There we go. Um, yeah, so there's actually a few things we could do. What I might do is while all this is connected up oh we're not gonna need it for another year that does keep holding good i was just thinking like that stopped is let's wash all of this stuff because actually we're not gonna need the big buds now either uh, we've got self-propelled sprayers so the big buds are going to sit now uh probably we need them at harvest time potentially might get chaser bin actually harvest time Never used a chase bin, so that'd be a fun thing to get. So, oops, I oh, know that's right. Actually, I just want the truck. I'm gonna say, pull away with that trailer, but I just want the truck. Uh, we're gonna sell those soybeans as well, weren't we? But yeah, so, um, yeah, lots of things to think about, lots of things to do. Move this out of the way. Actually, if we're not going to use this, may as well keep it nice and clean. And I've already washed the big belt once today, but you know what? It's here.
won't take much cleaning, it's pretty clean already. Yeah, so if you haven't uh, tried out the Worker Channel yet, um, I think they've just finished their harvest. Had a bit of a bumpy year, I haven't actually had a chance to be following it, which is a bit annoying, because I was really looking forward to it. But, uh, but yeah, I'll watch those definitely at some point and catch up. But yes, I've been keeping an eye out, looks like they've had a good year, so hopefully we will too. Though they're just slightly more critical than mine. Um, but yeah, so do watch their channel, it's a really good channel actually. Actually, I've got enough reach. Is the hose long enough? It is. That's cool. Mind you, I said we wouldn't need it again, but actually, of course, if we do some... Uh, if I do buy it, I'll look into buying another field, see what there is about. Have some chats with some local farmers. Maybe we can buy another field and... Uh, Put some poplars in. Oh, but poplars. Oh, poplars use a, a tree planter, right? Oh, so we don't need this anyway. We'll need a tractor though, but not this, not necessarily a big bud, but we could do. I mean, really mad, is it? Right, so I will park this and then we'll go see how our work is getting on. So here we are, back on field 21, and the work is nearly finished, and we just have enough seed. There's actually even going to be a little bit left over, but not a lot, so actually that was pretty damn perfect. That's all right. I like that. And yeah, we've come to the end of an episode, so um, yeah, the final sowing in a little more detail than we did last time. All done, so that's all of the fields now with their crops in. And, uh, yeah, half a day left to decide what we're going to do next, I guess. But, yeah, so that's it. That's it for this episode, anyway. So I do hope you've enjoyed it. Um, if you did, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet and you'd like to, please feel free to do so. And if you've got any comments or, um, uh, you know, anything you'd like to, to mention, suggest, um, ideas, things to do, if you've got things that we could try out, you know, um, I say I'm going to quite have to buy another field and, and do some different things. So, um, yeah, please just drop me a line, put me a comment. And um, otherwise, I'll look forward to welcoming you back to Welker Farms very soon. Bye-bye for now.